Hey crew, this is Happy Days, and here we are with another AFK Terraria tutorial. So in this episode, we're going to be looking at how to farm the King Slime completely AFK. Um, it's something I wanted to do. I've been looking to get the um, Slimy Saddle lately, which is one of the mounts you can get in the game. And I thought, okay, I looked up how much it was to make a King Slime uh, summoning item, and it takes a lot a lot of uh, gold uh, or platinum bars, 30 to be exact. And if you multiply that by the ore cost, you're looking at, you know, and it's just so much. So I thought, I like to make my farms. You guys know I make good AFK farms. So here we are in this episode on how to make an AFK King Slime farm. So keep watching and I'll show you how it's done. And you can see here that this kills the uh, King Slime AFK, it's easy to make, you get the ninja gear, and you get all this slimy goodness as well. Alright, stay watching and I'll show you how it's done. Okay, so basically I've got the minimap up here. What I've, uh, this video is more going to be about sharing what I've learned about spawning the King Slime and kind of the most efficient way to do it. If you look at my minimap here on the side, you can see I've got five platforms, about or well, maybe a screen away from the base and it's a mixture of grassy land and some of the slime bricks which are actually made using gel and the solidifier which is bought from the steampunker during the day the only reason I'm using these is I heard it increases slime spawn rate so I'm like well you can't go wrong uh, I've got the obvious water candles going on and this is one of the rare times that I'm using battle potions uh, because the Slime King has a 1 in 300 chance of spawning when a slime spawns. And I'm including a link in the description to roll a 300 sided dice and see how many times you roll a 1. Um, that's the chances, and I'm just using one as an example. Rolling a 1 is like getting the Slime King to spawn. 1 out of 300. So basically what we did, what I did was got the platforms on the side and the goal was to get it to jump up by itself. Um, the reason for this, and a lot of people do this and they put videos on YouTube saying it's an AFK farm, but what really annoys me is the loot doesn't fall on your character. And what they don't understand is if the loot doesn't fall straight on your character, it's not an AFK farm. Because unless the loot goes straight in your inventory, guys, it will despawn. Um, Terraria can only have 200 items on screen, roughly. So this demon eye banner that drops from one of the uh, demon eyes, that will despawn eventually once enough items drop on the ground. So you need the, uh, the mob you're farming to drop its loot as close to you as possible. So even this, I can probably add another layer of uh, slime bricks along here as well. Because the ninja shirt didn't jump, drop on me just then. So I got the slime hook, but not the ninja shirt. So what we'll do is... And this is just a trial and error thing, guys. So just add that extra layer in, wait for it to spawn again, see how it goes. Okay, so bringing up the map... Um, so yeah, I've got these platforms each side. Um, slimes spawn on the outer thirds of the map. Um, and you can tell if you're in the right area for Slime King to spawn because you'll see Goblin Scouts spawning. And outside of a Goblin Invasion, obviously. And uh, that's how you know you're in the right area. You'll see I've rigged up. And there's not much to it. And that's why I'm not going in depth a lot in this episode. I've built a very simple super dart trap. It's linked up uh, to a one second timer and all it's doing is shooting along the ground here. And what that's doing when you're sitting in the middle of the farm is just killing any slimes that land on the ground. And I'll just drop down low enough so you can see it. So every slime trap, uh, sorry, super dart traps only fire once every three seconds. And surprisingly, speed isn't really a thing with this farm. You can see it just killed that green slime. Now, I could let the lava kill the slimes, but slimes spawn very slowly. So the quicker you kill them, 
Uh, the quicker a new slime can spawn and the quicker just drinking another battle potion. Uh, the quicker you can get new slimes spawning on the platforms up there. Um, the reason I'm off the ground, and I see a lot of people uh, build their Slime King spawner on the ground. And the problem is, all this dirt area at the bottom, you know, nothing's spawning in there. So you're losing half a screen worth of slime spawns. So I definitely recommend building your slime spawner, uh, your Slime King farm off the ground. And you could see before it, the Slime King will climb up the platforms and drop in on top of me. And what that means is I'm getting more of the game area, just look, showing on the minimap there, more of the game area to spawn slimes. Now, uh, I need to tell you that this is a slow trap. I've been testing it a lot. I've tried a lot of different things. I've tried slime statues off screen, um, you know, blood moons, daytime, nighttime. Pretty much, it'll only spawn during the daylight hours, which is between 7.30 in uh, sorry 4 30 in the morning and 7 30 at night um and there's only so much you can do so i do recommend you go to windowed mode and uh use the afk out tab method to get out of terraria but leave the game running and just spawn them afk while you're doing other things on your computer um i even tested this overnight and just let it run for you know eight hours while i was asleep and ended up with a fair bit of loot. Um, it's average, you're probably going to get one or two Slime Kings a day during the daylight hours, which is 15 minutes. There's not much you can do to speed it up. The Slimy Saddle has a percentage drop chance of 3%, I believe. So you need to kill roughly, on average, 33 Slime Kings to get it. But if you're someone that wants it, and I currently really want to get the Slimy Saddle, um, I've never had a mount in Terraria before, so I want to get one. The other one I want to get is Rudolph from the Frost Moon, which also has a low drop rate, Ice Queen, Wave 15 plus. Anyway, so that's pretty much all there is to the trap, guys. It's not really wire heavy, and you can see, if you've watched my other videos, you know I go to town on wiring. This doesn't need much. This is about as efficient as you're gonna get. Um, if you can think of a quicker way to spawn Slime Kings, and don't say use a Slime Crown, like, this, this point of this trap is to avoid doing that and having to farm, and I don't duplicate items, so I consider that cheating, so don't suggest that to me because that's not the point of this video at all. Um, if you can think of a quicker way to farm this, please let me know. Otherwise, this is pretty much it. Build this farm, go AFK, do something else on your computer for a couple of hours, and you should get all the slime loot you want. Uh, so we're talking about slime looks, slime hooks, ninja gear, slime guns, trophies, banners, gel, all that good stuff, and potions. All right, leave a like if you've enjoyed this and you found it useful. Uh, leave a comment if you can help me improve it. Although <laughs> I have spent quite a while on this now and I can't really think of a way to speed this up anymore. Um, so I would love to hear Without the things I just said, don't suggest things that are either cheating or using summoning items. That's not what I'm asking for. Um, yeah, and apart from that, consider subscribing if you haven't yet. Thanks for watching. Leave a like. Happy days signing out. Hey crew, just wanted to give you an update. So I left my farm on overnight and I finally got the slimy saddle. And it does take a while, you know, it's not the fastest trap in the world, but you know, when you've got a one in 300 chance of getting something, it is very slow. But anyway, so the reward is having this cool mount. And basically it looks awesome. It's very cute and it can float on water. So I suppose in the spirit of fun, we should take it to the beach quickly and have a quick fly over the water's edge. So I suppose, you know, why would you bother getting something like this? I guess when you've done most things there is to do in Terraria, it's fun just to do something a bit different. So he bounces and he floats on water. And I suppose if you're in multiplayer, it's very cool to have a mount as well. Um, so yeah. So remember, just a reminder that this isn't the quickest way to get the slimy saddle. Um, although it is legitimate, 
um, using this trap. Um, you will get it eventually. And don't forget, I've included a link in the description. If you do want to roll a 300-sided dice, uh, you can see how often you will get the number one um, and use one as the slime king, the king slime. And it doesn't come up much when you've got 300 faces on a dice. So you can duplicate um, slime crowns if you want to get it a cheat way. But the reason I make these farms, guys, is, you know, if they ever get rid of all item duping and stuff like that, if you know how to do things legitimate, you can get all the items in the game. Alright, thanks for watching as always. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this trap. And don't forget, it is a slow trap this time. You probably have to leave it on for a couple of hours AFK to get the slimy saddle. Alright, thanks for watching. Stay happy. This is Happy Day signing out.